Welcome to Excel Name Trick number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Name Series 1 to 12. Hey, this trick number 10, we're going to see how to actually store a table of data in memory using a name. Now here's the deal. Let's click in this cell right here and F2 to put it into edit mode. We've learned how to use the VLOOKUP function many times. This VLOOKUP is looking there. It's looking over to the table. It's looking in the second column. Product 3, it's 16. So then it brings 16. So the VLOOKUP brings the number 16 back to this cell. Now the problem is in some spreadsheets you don't want to store the table of data on your sheet or even on any other sheet. So a great alternative is to store it in memory as a name. So, and then we'll, we'll do that and we'll see how we can actually use that name in a function. I'm going to control F3. That's the keyboard shortcut to open up name manager, control F3. In earlier versions, it says define name. In this version, you have to click new. And then this looks similar to earlier versions. The name we're going to use is PRO price table. So product price table. And then I'm going to click down here. And there's no way for me to expand this uh, bigger. Uh, but you type equals. And then curly bracket is the syntax you use when you're including a bunch of values. Now look over here. Let me close this down. We have a product 1 and a product 10. In fact, I'm going to click Escape and actually uh, do this in the cell where I could see it, where you could see it bigger, and then we could talk about the syntax. Are you ready? And then we'll copy it and paste it up in the formula bar. Equals curly brackets. You got to have curly brackets uh, when you are enclosing an array. Now the first one is products. We type in quotes P R O one N quote. And this is in a column. To go to the next column here, you type a comma and then 10. To go to the next row, you have to type a semicolon. Now, the way I memorized it was uh, comma starts with a C, so that's column. This is always a column. That's always a row. You have to be able to tell the array, if you have uh, more than one column or more than one row, how to go down to the next row. So that's how you do it. Now, let's do the next one. In quotes, PRO2, end quote. Comma is for column. And then I see the number 12 here, so 12. Semicolon is for row. Then double quote. And the next one is PRO3, end quote. Comma is for column. And then I see a 16 there, so 16. Semicolon is for row. The next one is in quotes, PRO. PRO4, end quote. Comma is for column. And then I see a 22 here, 22. And now we're done, so we put end curly bracket. I'm going to enter, and it'll just do that for a second. I'm going to decrease the size just a little bit, and then put this into edit mode. Let me see if I can escape. Oop. Oop, like that, and then F2. There we go. So that's it. you got to remember to put words in quotes. Comma is for column. Uh, numbers can just go straight. And then semicolons are for rows. And then there's that little uh, curly bracket beginning and end to enclose the whole array. Now I'm going to highlight this in edit mode. You could also come up here and do it. It's probably safer to do it up there. And then Control C, and then Escape. And now we can go up to our names, Control F3. Click New. In earlier versions, all you have to do is you just get this dialog box without the scope. I'm going to click right here and type um, P-R-O-P-R-I-C. ICE table. Go back and uh, if you're having trouble with the naming convention, the very first name trick went through all the actual rules. Now I'm going to click down here and, and highlight it very carefully and then delete and then control V. Oh, look at that. We can store a table of data in memory. It's going to be called Pro Price Table. Click OK. Click Close. Now let's see how this works. I'm going to click right here equals v lookup and the value I want to look up is that comma I'm going to use f3 for paste name 
And I'm going to hit P to get down to the P's, then I'm double clicking. Comma 2, because it's in the second column that we're looking up the price. Comma 0, because we're looking up words, close parentheses. Now watch this. I'm going to delete this whole table. That one still works, but this one's saying, what, huh? What? What's going on there? It's looking there. So that's an excellent uh, use. And we can see here if we um, change this to PRO4. Uh oh, I have data validation, Alt D, L, and then Alt C for clear, OK. Now I can type product 4. And it, it's, it's looking this up from memory. PRO1. So that's pretty amazing there. How to use an, uh, create an array as a name and memory, and then you don't have to uh, waste real estate space cells in your sheet because all the values are stored in memory. All right, we'll see you next name trick.